All right, Robert, uh, congratulations on winning the race. An impressive run. I guess just, you know, one your, your, what are your thoughts on your on your time and, and, and the race? Uh, my time was good. It was right in that goal time. I wanted to be in the 1530s. So uh, I was pleased with that. Um, the ra it was kind of tough at the end of the race. Being by myself, I really had to focus on keeping my form. And my arms were getting all tired. So when that happens, it's really important to keep the form going. And uh, I was able to do that for the last mile and a half or so. So I was pleased with my performance. Uh, you have a top, you know, a top guy coming back from, from last year. You know, obviously that brings with it a lot of expectations. Uh, with the season that I guess, how, how are you handling that with a season that's, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you can't run state today, you know, no. so to speak, but how, how, how do you handle those expectations? It, it's tough. I mean, state's always in the back of my mind. I try to, you know, focus on the meets I'm at right now, but at the end of every race, I keep thinking, you know, can state just get here soon enough? I want to get to that race and do my best, but, um, you know, just doing the workouts at practice, being focused on the races, and just getting better. That helps me uh, keep my mind off it. Yeah, and uh, you and uh, uh, the kid from Cedarburg went out pretty pretty fast, and I guess I'm just wondering, is, was that a strategic thing, or you just were just kind of running for your own pace? Um, that was strategic. Uh, this is a really fast course, so I was going to go out hard and um, try and keep the pace, and I saw Jack from Cedarburg. I know him pretty well. I know he likes to go out hard, so uh, when we lined up right next to him, I thought I'd uh, just stick with him for a while and uh, see how it played out.